views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. You are listening to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes. This hit call-in show will answer any questions you have about spiritual communication through on-air readings and spirit artistry. Get ready to receive breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten your life. To say this show is educational is an understatement. Dr. Susan is the medium through which spirit communication occurs and fills the canvas of your life. Yeah, that's like music to my ears right now. Psychic Professor Show with Dr. Susan Barnes, the Voices of Spirit Radio. Today, everybody, I'm Dr. Pat. Dr. Susan joining us here today. Spirit communication in everyday life. We were just talking about this. For those of you, let me tell you a little bit here about my colleague, my co-host today, uh, Dr. Susan Barnes, totally immersed in deep knowledge of spiritual issues. And I'm going to tell you, the radio show is about that. Her life is about that. And all of the programs, everything she does is about that. Today's show, we're opening up those phone lines and you're going to be able to ask questions about spiritual communication, personal questions about what you're doing, how's it turning out, what you want to know, because this is an accelerated time for change. Dr. Susan Barnes is an international medium, totally off the charts, communication professor and spirit artist. She is the owner of the Spirit Art Gallery in New York and teaches art classes. And one of the things we know for sure is that creativity, spirituality, and living everyday life that stuff right there is in each of us. Dr. Susan, tell us about the show today. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to make people more aware of the fact that in their everyday life, spirit may be trying to communicate with them. You know, um, and I have a number of examples where people think, oh, no, I'm just crazy. But they're not crazy. It's really spirit there. And my first example is the idea how many people find coins on the ground. And when they find, mostly it's pennies, but when they find the penny, its head is up. They never find pennies with the tails up. And that's telling them that someone from spirit is trying to get their attention. I I was just talking about this. So here's what I know about that. Linda's mom, who has moved on, um, always talked about pennies and pennies heads up. And I got to tell you, I was at a meeting a couple of weeks ago, really bizarro, right, Dr. Susan? I was at a meeting and this meeting had a bunch of tables in the room. What would be the odds, and, and Joan loved the number three, what would be the odds of me getting up from my round table, getting ready to leave, and three tables that had been vacated, each of them, had a penny heads up in the middle. What are the odds of that? Not much. No. Not much. It's, you know, you definitely know it's spirit trying to communicate. But I also know of a young man where when he goes into room, spirit, pennies come out of the ceiling around him. Wow. Wow. Well, here's the question I want to ask you, because this is about today's show. Today's show, we're opening up the phone lines right out of the gate. And, you know, what's going to happen today is our callers will be able to receive a personal spirit communication for our daily lives. For those of you out there, please go ahead and, you know, start to dial in. Benny will put you in the queue. 1 800 930 2819. 1 800 930 2819. Or 
go to the drpatshow.com, write your question in there, or transformationtalkradio.com, post your question in there. Um, Dr. Susan, please let our listeners know what is today's show very specifically about, and when they call in, what can they expect? Well, today's show is about the fact that there is all, and we call it physical phenomena, there's all this kind of physical phenomena that occurs every day, but most people don't even notice. So I'm trying to get them to notice. Wow. What happens when we don't notice? Let's talk about that. What happens when we don't notice? And how does spirit continue to get our attention? Well, sometimes they'll just repeat things. Um, or sometimes they'll just, keep, yeah, they'll keep doing something over and over again until the person goes, oh, you know, what what's going on here? Um, I mean, some people see, understand that they're a little bit psychic. I mean, it's like my mother. My mother, she would know who was on the phone before she picked it up every time. I mean, she just, just knew that. That's kind of a psychic thing. But spirit will do things like move objects around on us. They'll try to call our name. There's a bunch of different things that they will do to try to get our attention. Well, lots of times it's in nature as well. There's a butterfly that lands on your hand, or there's a particular bird that you see that um, is spirit reminding you of someone. Wow. Okay. So there are many ways, many ways, at least for me, that I now know when I look back, Dr. Susan, I now know that these were ways spirit was trying to communicate with me. But let's get more specific if we could. I've never really known, except for like I just shared with you, I know that if I see a penny heads up, that's not my mother. I know that's Linda's mother. I know that's Joan, right? But Mm -hmm. there are many, many ways that spirit tries to get our attention. Sometimes they're subtle. Sometimes they're bizarro, right? I, I, I would like your help in walking us through what some of them are and, you know, how some of the people, you know, you've worked with have been able to figure it out. Well, it's interesting. Lots of times what happens is that people come up to me and they start telling me these stories, but they don't quite believe it really happened to them or they don't quite believe that it's normal, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll give you uh, I'll, I'll give you the strangest one, and this does happen and it does occur. A woman um, had a gentleman who died in her arms after, right after a car crash, and his personality went into her for, for several days mm. until um, the personality was able to get his family together, and she was able to exchange some energy with the family and kind of do the parting goodbyes. Mm. And you know, her husband verified this. That's my question. I mean, you know, we get these things that happen. We we don't know that they're signs. How how can people um how can people figure it out? Because I can think of some of the oddest things that have happened to me over time. And in the moment that I'm in them, I don't stop and say well, is that spirit communicating? Can you give us a little guidance as to what we can do to better see, hear, uh, taste, smell, all of the above? Well, I think, first of all, you have to be open to it. I mean, if you're outside, and especially if you're in nature, if these things happen, realize it's spirit that's bringing this to you. Um and sometimes when things happen and they seem like, oh, it's too weird, I, this, this couldn't be real, this just can't be real, hey, it is real, and accept it. Don't just deny it. And the more you accept, the more you're going to notice these things. Well, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, why do I want to notice this? Let's talk about that. What is it that... Why would spirit, spirit energy, go through all the trouble 
in their amazing days to get our attention. You know, I got a question that just came in on our instant messaging asking, what are they trying to tell us? Um, Is it that, I got to put this sentence together. What are they trying to tell us? Are they trying to guide us? Are they trying to teach us? Are they trying to get us to do stuff? (laughs) Well, spirit never gets you to do stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's just not the way it is. Um, You are the only one that can make you do stuff. Um, But what they're doing is they're um, reminding you that they're there and they're bringing, trying to bring a little love into your life. And I have, I'll give you another example. Yeah. I was recently down visiting my mother and this little bird was jumping around on the balcony. And I don't know why, but I was this little bird and I was reminded of my father. And I thought, gee, you know, this, this reminds me of him and which is a nice, pleasant memory for me. So the next day I was online um, and a medium gave me a message and the message was about a little bird jumping around and it was associated with my father. So then I had a confirmation that yes, this really did happen. It was dead. And what he was trying to do was he was trying to just bring me some reassurance and bring me some comfort because my mother's very ill. Wow. Wow. You know, for those of you out there, we have opened up the phone lines. I just want to let you know, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. You know, also, um, please go to the drpatshow.com or transformationtalkradio.com and right on the right-hand side, uh, I believe you're going to see a box where you can ask your question, or I guess you click on the player, but either way, we're taking your questions, we're taking your calls, and Dr. Susan Barnes is in the house to get you some answers and a new level of awareness. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Are you ready to start winning at the game of life? Lynn Brown, host of Get Into It, Winning at the Game of Life, is here to help you reach places and goals that you never thought possible. Lynn is an intuitive healer with a specialized background in financial healing. She combines her intuitive nature and her wholesome approach to financial planning. To learn more about her financial planning services, contact her personally at letter R, letter U, Intuit.com. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving, even in the face of adversity. Say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. 
Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, the Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio, featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Before we go to the phones here, what a great, what a great day. This is awesome. Before we go to the phones, um, Dr. Susan Barnes is in the house and I want to make sure that people know how to find out more about you, Dr. Susan. How can they email you? How can they find out events you're going to be at? All of the above. Well, for events, they can check my website, which is spiritartgallery, one word, dot net. And if they have questions about mediumship or anything, they can um, email me at psychicprofessors at gmail.com. That's all one word, psychicprofessors with an S on the end at gmail.com. And we have opened up the phone lines, 1-800-930-2819. We are taking your calls as we speak. Uh, We're going to go to the phones. Uh, Mr. Benny, who should we uh, chat with first? Sarah calling in from Tacoma. Hello, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hi there. Hello. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm having some problems with my cell phone. (laughs) No, no. You sound great. We can hear you. Yeah, totally. Wonderful. Well, this is my question. I do find pennies all the time, but, yeah. you know, I have never uh, put it together that they may be head up, so now I'm going to look for the heads up on the pennies. But my question for um, Dr. Susan is, is there something that is being given to me specifically from spirit that perhaps you could acknowledge for me? Yeah. Are you asking me what the message is when you see the penny? Or, or in general? Yeah. Or in general? Well, I think well, I think Dr. Pat in general because I do okay. see them and I don't always pick them up because uh-huh. they're everywhere it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> is that true well, now, My question for you is is what relative do you think is associated with them? Yeah. Or for friend and spirit? Could you say that one more time again, please? Sure. What what relative or friend in spirit do you think is associated with the penny? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea? Okay. Well, you know, I have a very dear grandmother that passed quite some time ago, and and an aunt as well, and I'm really connecting with feminine energy right now. So, so. Probably one of them. I don't have any female friends yet <laughs> that have made their transition. So, well, um, it's interesting that you're saying it's a female because it could, of course, be a male as well. So you pretty much know it's a female spirit that's bringing this to you. And what I would probably say is of those people you know, whichever one was generous to you, um, would be probably the person that's doing it. Interesting. Okay. Generous in spirit, generous in heart, and, mm-hmm. and all of that. Yes. And wisdom, and that would be my beloved grandmother, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. okay. Well, um, I, I, I feel like I'm complete And I'm going to start looking. I mean, when I see pennies now on the ground, I'm going Mm -hmm. to pick them up. I have a little compartment uh, in the door Mm -hmm. of my car, and I usually put coins and things in there that I sign. So I'm going Mm -hmm. to start looking for the heads up. (laughs) You know, I have a question for you before you go. Um, My sense is you have another question for Dr. Susan, but I could be wrong. Well, you know, I... 
I, like so many other people, I mean, we're just in huge transition right now. We're feeling so much movement in our lives everywhere. And I, you know, I don't know that that translates, Dr. Pat, into mm-hmm. something specific. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'm just riding the waves of ascension, and I'll tell you, I mean, we got to breathe and anchor these energies down all the time, mm. or that just blows our solar plexus up. No kidding. So, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I had a sense the other day that my brains were starting to come out of my ears. Do you think that's the same thing? Yes. Mm. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. It's going to be interesting to see now what kind of attention you pay to this. And please feel free to give us a call back in. Give us an update. Okay. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Pat. All right. Thanks, ladies. I so appreciate it. Oh, you bet. You're welcome. Wow. All right, Mr. Benny. All right, we'll uh, travel uh, south to uh, Arizona. We have Nicole joining us. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm awesome, thank you. How are you? Yeah, you know, I'm having a pretty awesome day myself, believe it or not. So, (laughs) what question do you have for Dr. Susan Barnes? Hi, Dr. Barnes. My question is, um, I'm kind of, I'm a dreamer. I have a lot of interest and I feel like I'm, my life purpose involves the healing arts and I've been doing intuitive work, but I've been feeling a strong pull to do mediumship work, but, um, there's some hesitation, some nervousness, and I've also been feeling, feeling a pull to, um, create my own probiotic drink and market it to, um, families as a healthier alternative to soda and as a healing drink. And I'm just kind of not sure if I'm on the right path, if I'm crazy, if it's just one of my other crazy ideas. <laughs> well, that's oh, that's okay. Awesome. You can, you can Great. join me on the crazy train. That's all right. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and those, all, those, those things all sound wonderful. Uh, and yeah. you, and I'm, as a person who does a lot of different things, um, I say yes to all of the above. Um, but I would tell, tell you, yeah, I mean, if if you could do the intuitive art, that's great. That's wonderful. I mean, the, and with the intuitive art, sometimes messages come through. I mean, all they do for me and they do for other people. But I would just mm-hmm. advise you that if you want to do mediumship kind of work, that you do work with someone or find a mentor to tell you how yeah. to do it right. Because a lot of people are out there doing it wrong, and it's bad yeah. for all the mediums. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean that. Yeah, uh, you know what? What doctor? Um, what Doctor Susan is talking about is probably one of the most important things for you to contemplate. And I think it's a combination, right, Doctor Susan, of doing your due diligence, tapping into your intuition, right? Mm-hmm. But the other sense. thing you, you can you can do, and this is something everybody can do as long as I have a computer, you can look into um, the Spiritualist National Union International, S N U I, and for um, a very reasonable amount of money, I think it's twenty pounds, which is like under thirty dollars. You can sit in on any of their classes. And you can learn mediumship, and you can find out about it. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, it is. So that's yeah, that's what that's. I suggest that to anyone, especially if you're not clear and you're in an area where you don't know where there really is like a, a reasonable medium, that you go there. And it's a church-run organization, so they're not doing it to make money. I mean, they're doing it out of the kindness of their heart and volunteering their time. So that's the kind of people you want to start with. Mm. Awesome. It's S-N-U-I, you said, right? The abbreviation. Yeah, S-N-U-I. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Usually you you just type in S-N-U-I. It comes up on the internet. Great. Wow, that's exciting. I can't wait to hear what you find out. Please check back with us, would you? Yeah, definitely. I'd love to. I know. I know. We'd like to spread the word. If she was in my area, I'd invite Mm -hmm. her to spirit art class. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, who I knows think where I'll end up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it. Wow. Um, let's make sure everybody out there, um, has information about Dr. Susan before we go to break, and then we're going to continue to take your calls one more time, Dr. Susan, please let folks know how they can find out more about you. And as you said, if they're close to where you reside, they can do a whole lot of things with you. (laughs) That's right. That's right. Um, I'll just say this. If anyone lives in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania or New York around me here. Um, I'm near Lilydale, New York, which is which is the big spiritualist place. And um, yeah, I do art classes on Wednesdays, and I do readings at the at the place called Crossroads on Saturdays. So if you're in the area, stop by. If you're not in the area, you can check my website at www.spiritartgallery.net, or you can email me at psychicprofessors at gmail.com. Wow. What we're going to do is we're going to take a short break. If you want to find out more about us, you can go to www.thedrpatshow.com. And doctor is DR. Um, and there are, are a bunch of other ways to get there. Just Google Dr. Pat. Um, the other thing is to go to transformationtalkradio.com, and you're going to find out lots and lots and lots. You can listen to past shows uh, that we've had with Dr. Susan Barnes. You can go ahead, all of the above. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, as we said before, yep, we haven't changed our minds. Uh, call in number 1-800-930-2819. And don't worry, Benny... Benny's really kind of cool. He'll put you in the queue. We'll get you on air. We'll get your questions, all of the above. We're going to take a short break, everyone. We will be right back. And then I got some questions here that people have sent us. Martha, Chris, I will get right to you. We'll be right back. I need a sign to let me know you're here. All of these lines are being crossed over the atmosphere. powerful insight and practical tools to support you on your spiritual journey access your higher self and tune in every second and fourth thursday at 12 p.m pacific to a life untethered with andrew martin walking the path of freedom andrew is a highly attuned intuitive oracle energy worker spiritual teacher and international radio host for more about andrew and his services visit thelightedones.com Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Brand consultant Jen Morgan is here with Radically Distinct Radio to help you take control of your future and maximize your brand's power to produce results. Whether you're an individual trying to reinvent yourself and launch a new venture, or you're an executive trying to reposition your company to modernize your sales and marketing programs, Jen Morgan and the Rad Method empower you to play to your strengths and show up in the world as your most powerful brand. To learn more, go to jenmorgan.com, that's Jen with two N's, morgan.com, or call 206 9 the earth is an ever-changing being goddess light shamanic healer brie gibbs guides us through the ascending worlds bringing forth knowledge and truth as a light creator she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution join brie as she shares messages from guides spirits ascended masters goddesses and others Tune in the second and fourth Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific, and Thursdays, 1 p.m. Pacific, for Silver Gaia Radio. Do you keep attracting the same type of guy over and over? Do you believe all of the good guys are taken and you might be single forever? Hi, my name is Deb Acker, and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including love. Did you know that many times the thing that keeps us attracting the same type of person is energy-related? What if you could complete this pattern for good to attract conscious, loving men? Don't think it's possible? 
Several years ago, this is where I was, and I went on a journey to figure out how to undo this for myself, and I now help others with this. I love helping clients clear this pattern for good to have the love they so desire and deserve. If this resonates for you and you're ready to be truly done attracting the same type of person, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Dr. Susan Barnes is in the house. Before we go to the phones and go to our instant messages and get Martha on here. And um, again, please tell folks how they're going to be able to find out more about you. And also, how they going to be? How can they work with you? Oh, that's easy. All of my information is mm-hmm. on my website, which is www spiritartgallery.net. No punctuation, just one long word, Spirit Art Gallery. Awesome. So if they go there, they can find out everything, and I'm even going to post. I will be doing some Facebook um, events soon, and uh, so go there and look for it. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's go to our um, instant feedback. Let's let, Let's take Chris. From Linwood, I seem to be at a crossroads in my job. I'm unsure if my decision to give my five-year plan continuation and eventually being given what I am working for or I should give up my goal and move on. And you and I, Dr. Susan, were talking about, you know, what does a medium do? And maybe we can shed a little light here and see how we might help Chris. Yes. Well, Chris, first of all, a medium can't tell you what to do and a psychic can't tell you what to do. I mean, they can give you a little bit of encouragement. Um, and if you're looking for some insight into what you should do, one of the things you could do is ask spirit. Ask spirit. Um, a good thing to do is do it before you go to sleep at night. Say, oh, I would really like to know which way to go. And lots of times when you wake up in the morning, you'll get a clearer answer. But the way you'll know it's right is if it feels right in your heart. And just remember, life is a journey, so nothing's written in stone. Wow, I love it. Thank you. Um, Benny, let's go to the phones. Kay from L.A. Kay, welcome to the show. Hey, Kay, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for taking my call. Awesome, you bet. How can we help you today? So I have been uh, getting a lot of signs in the last year, but... um, I'm not sure who or what or why. Um, I a lot of dandelions, you know, the white ones. Um, so I don't even know if those are signs. I mean, but you know, when I randomly get it, like in my car, or um, and then one time I saw in my in my office, um, which I thought was a dandelion, it was a white, tiny feather. At first, I thought it was a dandelion because they were very um, common everywhere. And um, then there was a, a white tiny feather that landed right on my desk. And I thought that was really odd because it was in my office. I mean, of course, I could have tracked it in with my feet and everything. You know, you always try to think outside the box. But is there anything you're getting for me? Like, are these signs or, or not? Yeah. Or if it yeah. is, what is it? Um, okay. First of all, I have to tell you, I just had another friend who told me a dandelion story, and um, she was outside doing dandelions, and then she got a reading from a medium that told her that that, that was her father, and her father was saying, oh, I really like seeing you outside with the dandelions. So that's definitely a message. Now, let me deal with the feather first. The feather that you received, that's called an apport, an apport. 
And what that is, that's when spirit materializes an object for you. So, yes, you can go around saying, oh, yeah, maybe I walked it with my shoe, but wouldn't it be a little bit dirty? Wouldn't we be a little bit messed up? And I'm sure the, per- the feather was very nice one. So spirit does this, and they do this to people all the time. I've received several outports um, during my lifetime. So don't think it's unusual. And, yes, they can materialize anywhere. There doesn't have to be a bird around. Um, so that is spirit telling you um, they're there. Now they're trying to make you aware of their presence. Now, I don't know if there was someone in your life that you associate with feathers or with maybe Native American types of things. Um, That would be the person that's just trying, that might be trying to get in touch with you. Or it could just be spirit trying to say to you, wake up, use your spirit intelligence, use your spirituality more. What is it that can be said about that? Because... We sometimes try to, what, what was it, Einstein said, listen, you can't solve the problem at, at, at the level of, that it was created. But boy, we try like heck to do that. And so is this the way for us to call in and get new awareness, Dr. Susan? Yes, and it could just be spirit trying to say to us, okay, don't block us out really bring us into your lives a little bit more. I mean, even if it's just taking a minute every day mm. and meditating or being quiet and saying, Spirit, I, you know, I want to communicate with you. And the other way that it works, too, is the way you treat other people. If you're positive and you're open and you're loving, then Spirit will come more to you. Mm. Thank you. Wow. Well, that's fascinating. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling in. Um, yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, we got a question that came in here from Martha. Hi, Pat and Susan. I'm wondering if I'm really getting signs from spirit or if I'm just making it up because I want it so much. Thanks, Martha. That's a great you know, question. It is a great question. And, but that's really gets to the heart of what I wanted to tell people today Mm -hmm. is that, no, you're not just making it up. Don't doubt yourself. And I think this is one of the things, especially with people who are trying to become mediums, they doubt themselves and then they can't do it. So if you actually accept it and say, yes, this is possible, this is possible, this is really happening to me, and and embrace it rather than reject it, um, it'll be better for you. You'll begin to understand what they're trying to tell you. Mm. Wow. You know, let's talk about a couple of other things, though, here for a minute before we uh, get back to the phones. One of them is what I said. Sometimes when we're really in the thick of it, Dr. Susan, we don't think to hit the pause button. You know, we don't think to stop for a minute and perhaps, you know, connect with spirit, right? Um, We start to do all sorts of other things. Can you give us some tips, some tools, you know, when we're in the middle of the stuff, what would you suggest we do? How do we go about this? Well, you know, uh, and I should say even for myself and and it's gotten better i i don't let little things bother me and i don't get worked up over over trivial matters and if things are really really tough then i'll sit down and i'll take a, a moment and part of it might be quieting myself down but part of it too is is lots of times asking spirit for help i mean they will guide you that's what the angels and the spirit communication is all about, and everybody has an angel with them. So if you just really, really open your heart and you can start to listen to some of the things they're trying to tell us, then you slow down and all of it starts to fall into order again. Mm. Um, You know, I think we still have a caller uh, waiting. So, Mr. Benny, let's go to the phones if we could. We do. We have Christine from Gig Harbor. Hello, Christine. Hi, Christine. Oh. Oh. I'm glad to get through on the phone today. 
And I'm glad we got you through on the phone today. How can we help you? So um, I have some loved ones, of course, in, on the other side. Uh, so I was just wondering, um, I've been listening to what you're saying about the signs and um, the feathers and all that, but I was wondering if you hear any messages from the loved ones that I lost last year. If I hear them? Mm-hmm. Or if you hear them. Well, um, if, if, if you're getting, I mean, if there's any messages out there, because like a lot of people, we question, is that really coming from my loved one or am I making that up? Look, well, let me just say this to you. If the thought reminds you of a loving moment with your loved one that you spent, then it's real. Anything that comes out of positivity and love is real is real. And the one thing that spiritualists believe is that thoughts are things. So the way we think is very, very important. And also these thoughts are how spirit communicates with us. So we don't want to dismiss those thoughts. We want to embrace them. And we want to take a moment and say, yes, grandma, I remember you when you made cookies for me. That was great. Or um, Dad, I really appreciated it when you did this for me. So it's always a positive type of thing. Okay, well, yeah, that, that makes sense then, yeah. Well, I, I lost my dad and my mother-in-law last year it, within three months, four months of each other, which was, a, you know, a big loss for me. Um, so, and my, my uh, mother had a stroke as well, so it, it felt like I lost three of my parents all in, a matter of a few months. So well, the I'm, other, I'm, yeah, don't think of it as loss. Don't mm -hmm. think of it as loss. I mean, unfortunately, they can no longer physically be with you, but spiritually they are, and I'm sure that at times you almost feel the presence of your dad around you, don't you? Mm hmm yes. Yeah, and when you feel that, it's real. He's there. He's, he's helping you. He's there to say, look, I'm giving you a little extra love and support so that you can do the things you need to do in your life. And take a moment and be happy and thankful that he was a wonderful dad. Okay, I will do that. That's really wonderful. Mm, thank you. Wow. He had, he had Alzheimer's, so he couldn't communicate for the last you know, three, four years. Oh, so wow, now wow. to have, have him on the other side and, you know, have his mind back or have his thoughts back is kind of like a blessing. Yes, yes. And the other thing, it's interesting, um, the other thing that happens with Alzheimer's patients um, is that sometimes, even though they're still alive, they can communicate through mediums because half the time they're in the spirit world and half the time they're in the physical world. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I've had that happen to me. But also, it's really interesting. My mother also has Alzheimer's and is not communicative. Yet, when I go down and see her, I looked in her eyes and I got, got communication. I knew what she was feeling and what she was trying to tell me. So, yeah, it is hard. But, yes. Think about that. Think that your dad is now can think he can um, do what he wants to do without those hindrances of the disease. And mm -hmm. he's there to give you lots of support. And you know what? I bet you that he's coming through because he feels bad that he couldn't communicate with you during the end of his life. So now he's trying to compensate for that by communicating with you as much as he can through spirit. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Um, thank you for calling in. Um, it's got to be really um, heart opening to really know that, right? You think? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think sometimes we feel so alone and disconnected. And, um, you know, yet at the same level, we know there have been moments where, you know, there's just been something that transcends all of that loneliness and disconnect. 
And that's love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, well, I'm looking forward yes. to meeting Susan um, in person at the the Afterlife Symposium in Phoenix. This, this yes, Monday. yes. I will be there. I will be at the Afterlife Symposium um, in Phoenix. I'll be there, and I'll be talking about physical phenomena and um, probably a little bit about this physical phenomena in everyday life. But, yeah, great. Definitely come up and say hello. I sure wow. Will. Wow. I mean, that, well, how much fun. I wish I was going. Maybe I'm going to have to go now. Yes, <laughs> maybe you should. Maybe you should. I, I'm going to have a great to. event. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Susan, can you tell everybody how they can find out more about that event? Um. Yes. It's Afterlife studies.org um, and I believe do I, uh, I, if I don't I'll put it up in the next day or so I'll get you all a link on my website to it as well but it's yeah afterlife studies um, dot org um, and the other site they have is afterlife research these are both one word um, dot org and the whole organization is dedicated toward trying to do research and better understand what happens um, with afterlife communication. Yeah, I love it. I think it's afterlifestudies.org, right? Afterlifestudies.org, yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, You know, what I want to do is I want to kind of go ahead, Benny, and skip the break if we could um, and talk with you, uh, Dr. Susan, about, you know, looking at, what it is we can do better. And what I mean by that is sometimes there are some very simple things, tools, tips, things we can do. Um, And I think if we know what they are, then we can get things moving. I think sometimes we get a little confused, like we have to jump through a hoop of fire in order to have any communication. So please shed some light on this. Well, you know, I have to tell you, and a friend of mine lives this every day, is being grateful, you know, being grateful for for what you have. And, uh, I mean, it's like, this is a a materialistic thing, but at Christmas times, I usually get some money, and this year I got half the money that I normally get. So instead of saying, oh, no, why didn't I get lost, or, you know, and complaining about it, I just said, I am grateful for what I was given. And mm-hmm. being grateful and thankful and not spending time doing any negative things really changes your life, really brings the positive back to you. And it's as simple as saying, I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful when somebody does something for you, say thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that little small thing means a lot to somebody else. You know, when I get that message from my friend that says, oh, you know, I'm grateful, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. And it's just a little spark of, of niceness that is brought into my life. So if you do that for others, and it shouldn't be just a little thing, hold the door for somebody going in and out of the store. Um, make sure that you always thank people for, for things they do for you. Um, I mean, it's like in my own family, whenever I get a gift from someone in my family, I always make sure that I call them and say thank you. They don't always do that to me, but that's okay because I mm-hmm. know I'm doing the right thing. Wow. You know, I want to get back to a couple of other things that we touched upon earlier. You know, when we first started the show out, we were talking about, you know, uh, Spirit Art Gallery. And I want to ask you about Spirit Art Gallery, because, you know, someone said to me a while ago, you know, a lot of people that have this psychic ability are usually very creative people. Now, I'm just interested in you sharing a little bit of Spirit Art Gallery, what it is uh, with our listeners and how that has come to you, how you integrate both. Well, it's interesting. The way it first started happening was um, when I first started going to England 
and taking courses in mediumship, one of the first things I saw, I was offered a spirit art class, and my background is as an artist. I went to Pratt. I, I was a professional graphic designer before I did this. And um, so I took the class. And from there, I started collecting the samples of different spirit art from different people. So in the Spirit Art Gallery, we have a permanent collection of five five or six different types of spirit art. Um, and then in the main gallery, we have spirit art that people have done that is for sale that they can buy. Um, and it ranges. It, it all ranges. I even have have works by Carl Jung, the psychologist. Um, and, and his works are spiritual to me because of the, the mythology and the whole question and, and the nature of the work that he was writing in his Red Book. Um, and, yeah, other another artist, um, she does things with animals. She does lots of, like, almost totem kinds of images with crows and butterflies and birds. Um uh, the other one does zodiac types of things, and of course, my best friend Shannon Taggart does the spirit photography. So we have all of these different things here for people to see and for people to explore. And also, if they want to buy something, they can do that. Yeah, you know, there's an energy in creativity, isn't there, though, Dr. Yes. Susan? Yes. You know, I've had moments of it where different points in times of my life, like when I moved to Seattle, for example, and I just started to draw and sketch. And I have to tell you, I never took a class, uh, never studied it. And I created some artwork that I couldn't explain. And when people looked at these sketches, they said to me, wow, how did you? And you know what? I did it for a period of time, never picked up the sketch pad again. Um, but there are moments that we go through these phases. Is this spirit trying to express? It very well could be. Now, I'll just have to say one other thing. Mm -hmm. One of the types of art that I personally do, because I do a lot of different things, um, mm -hmm. is encaustic wax, where I melt the wax and I paint with the wax. And I make cards out of the, these panels of wax, and it's totally random. You know, I don't sit there, I don't think, I don't put any intention except for, you know, spirit into the cards. But when I use them in readings, I have the person pick a card, and inevitably in their card, I will see the face of a loved one. And most of the time, that face has some kind of resemblance or some relationship to the person that's in spirit. And the face is kind of stayed out and disappear a little bit on the card. So I'm getting some physical phenomena. Wow. Well, you know, this is really a time where I think we, we were talking with uh, Marge Potasik during the last show about the evolution of consciousness. Um, and I, I wonder, uh, you know, in looking at this and just sitting back and listening to you, Dr. Susan, how amazing you are and how you're fully expressed, if this really isn't a time for us to really step forward and fully express. Yes, but I'll give you my theory on this. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And that I won't go academic. I'll just give my theory. My okay. theory is, in the past, and this has been documented, in the past, people used to hear two voices. They mm -hmm. used to hear their own voice, but then they would hear another voice in their head. And I believe it was spirit. And I believe that in the past, we were able to listen and hear spirit. But because of all our technology and language and this and that and cultural concepts, we stopped being able to do that. So if you just take a moment and mm -hmm. really open yourself up, you can hear those voices again. I love it. Dr. Susan Barnes, everybody. I'm Dr. Pat. What a great show today. Please, please go to spiritartgallery.net. And again, yeah, you can go see Dr. Susan in person. She's going to put that up on her website as well as we will. Thank you all for tuning us in, turning us on. Dr. Susan, personal message. What do you want to leave us with? Just remember to share a little love with someone else. Mm. 
I'm yes. sending a love your yes. way, Dr. Send Susan. Send love out there and take a moment and send it to all. I love it. It'll be a better place to live. And guess what? Every single one of us can do that. All right, everybody, right. stay tuned. Another hour coming up on Transformation Talk Radio. You've been listening to the Psychic Professor Show with Dr. Susan Barnes, the Voices of Spirit Radio. Dr. Barnes' deep knowledge of spiritual issues provides an hour of lively talk and discussion about everything from historical facts to transcommunication. To download this show or any past shows, or to learn more about Dr. Susan and her spirit-inspired art, visit spiritartgallery.net. Preceding audio was via a Skype call.